it addresses what is known as the epistemic question in, uh, in Africa. In other words, uh, it's a book about knowledge. Uh, it's a book about uh, the politics of knowledge in Africa and uh, the very specific why it is focused on Africa because uh, it's, a, it's a continent inhabited by people <clears throat> whose very being has been questioned and they immediately you question the being human of a people fundamentally you also question their ability to produce knowledge their ability to possess knowledge so this book is one of those which underscores the central argument that all human beings are born into valid and legitimate knowledge systems and they, it therefore means that as African people, if we are indeed people, it means therefore we have our own knowledge systems, which uh, colonialism uh, tried to destroy for its own purposes of uh, inscribing a European memory and a European knowledge. So it's a book which uh, <clears throat> covers a, a va various aspects of this fundamental question of, uh, of epistemology, of knowledge, particularly linking the question of epistemic freedom with uh, <clears throat> the, the, uh, from the basis of uh, uh, the color line. The color line is, is, is depicted by uh, <clears throat> W.E.B. Du Bois long, long ago, whereby the color line then puts some people into the zone of being and they put other people into the zone of non-being. And those who are in the zone of non-being are therefore deprived of the epistemic virtue and the ability to know. Uh, and this book actually challenges that type of coloniality of knowledge in which there are people without history, people without knowledge, people without alphabet, people without civilization, people without development, people without human rights, people without ethics. So it challenges a, an array of issues in the, in the, and it challenges really the imperial reason and the imperial thought.